Hello guys, back more The Flash. We're on Season 2, Episode 4. It's called The Fury of Firestorm. So guys, I cannot wait to see this next episode. i just seen that title, Firestorm. So obviously we're going to see... I don't know. I don't know if we're going to see Ronnie or not because technically Ronnie is gone. I still feel like Ronnie is alive. I feel like he will. You know, we'll we'll see him later on. I feel like he's definitely in a, like a different world. That's just kind of how. That's my guess. Of course, I'm not sure. I could be wrong. He could be dead, but I doubt he's dead. I really don't think he's dead. I think he's alive somewhere. I think we'll find a way to get him back. We did see at the last episode Captain Cold's father, which he was terrible. Oh my god, man. He, I, I I see why he didn't like his father. I see why he was just horrific i didn't like him i really didn't like him at all i mean he's just you know he's just a backstabber he's one of those people you get you help out and then he'll portray you right there he doesn't care he has no heart at all or no soul basically captain cole you know worked with his father to protect his sister which you know we know captain cole you know loves his sister uh golden glider and he will do anything to protect her and his father knows that and his father doesn't care about none of those um, both of his you know kids at all he doesn't but his father is gone he did kill him i think he did kill him at the end of the episode i think that's what we saw unfortunately captain cold is in jail and i think captain cold will become like a good you know a good guy one day maybe he might be a hero i see captain cold as a hero i don't know hopefully he will become that but for, for now he's still a villain but i think he will become like he'll you know convert into a hero maybe one day that's just my my prediction on that but yeah a couple of you guys have been asking me about the uh, legends of tomorrow of course in the comments are you gonna watch it legends of tomorrow is part of the arrowverse so yes we will be watching legends of tomorrow so don't worry about it uh it is a lot with the arrowverse because it's a ton of shows that we're doing so a lot of shows will be kind of it'll take take forever because some some people not might not care about the arrowverse so they're waiting on like the next episode for the flash so they complain about that and it's just if, I mean, if we're doing the Arrowverse, it's going to be like that. It's going to be where some episodes may take a little bit longer. And that's pretty much what I want to address to make sure you, make sure you guys know I am watching Legends, Legends of Tomorrow. Anyway, guys, before this video begins, guys, I want to thank Daniel for sponsoring this video through the Patreon page. Make sure you guys go check out the Patreon page, get the full reaction on there, and also support the channel as well. Other than that, guys, let's get into this next episode for The Flash. Everyone secretly thinks they've figured out what their life is going to be like. What no one ever considers is that life has its own plans for you, whether you like them or not. Scott's in the stands tonight. And after that touchdown, they all pulled out the cell phones. You're gonna get your pick of colleges, son. You really think so? I know so. Whoa! Everybody run! Got your power. We gotta get inside the tunnel. Holding oh, steady. Power. He's dropping out. It's getting worse. I know. Look. I did what I could to re-engineer Dr. Wells' original stabilizer. Those highly reactive molecules needed something to bond with in order to stabilize. And that's where Ronnie came Ronnie in. Ronnie is no longer a part of Professor Stein. Those molecules don't have anything to bond to. And the longer he goes without merging, the more unstable he becomes. Maybe it's that kid, All right. too, from so, the beginning. To merge what do we do? Them. Find another participant on two potential candidates that might be compatible with him. They both were affected by the dark matter, and they were both admitted to the hospital showing symptoms of gene rearrangement mutation. And they both share the same blood type as Professor Stein and Ronnie. We'll need more than tissue typing to see if their bodies are compatible. We might be able to find a match and save his life. Why do you need to do that? Oh. All right, blood samples from both potential candidates. What about this other guy, Jefferson Jackson? High school quarterback, 4.0 student. He's got the physical attributes. Hewitt is a scientist. Clearly, he's trying to make something of his life. He'd be open to something like this. I think we should meet with both of them before we make a decision. I will try to find something else to help keep you stable. What's that? What? How? Oh, wait. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Jefferson Jackson, right? People call me Jax. Ooh, catchy. My name's Barry Allen, and this is Martin Stein. We're with the Department of Safety. It's a small, newly formed agency. If you would consider coming back to Star Labs with us, I believe we can help you. Help me how? Know what the particle accelerator did. Look, I already told you, I don't talk about that. I got hit hard. When I woke up, I was in the hospital. I knew any dreams I had of playing pro ball were over. It's her number. Just think about it. This is Francine. Hello. Hi. Hello, Iris. Can you get you a coffee or something? Um, no, thanks. This is, this is gonna be awkward. I don't hate you, Francine. I do wish you well. We have lived separate lives for over 20 years. 
Let's keep it that way. Oh, no. Wow, I'm surprised. Dr. Henry Hewitt, this is Barry Allen and Professor Martin Stein. Well, how do you do? The illustrious oh, Martin damn, Stein. You take Barry's I've read hand? all your papers back at Hudson, especially on transmutation. Fascinating. For estimating my contribution to the field, I, I Isn't appreciate he great? Yeah, he's got an ego the size of Texas, but yeah, he's all right. <laughs> Do it. I, why do I have a feeling? Try again. Why isn't it working? I don't know. You two aren't compatible after all. Well, this is for nothing. Try to get your act together before you get someone's hopes up. Damn, his ego, really? What's wrong with you? Wait, what? Move the show until next happened. Tuesday. Are we with the replacement for Dr. Snow? <laughs> Stop! Don't move! No! What? Harrison? Detective I mean, is West, that Harrison or what? Can you tell me what was stolen? It's not so much what was stolen, but who stole it. The person who broke into my facility last night was Harrison Wells. Harrison Wells is dead. Any possibility he could be alive? Zero possibility. Oh, there's something else. I wanted to tell you when I first saw you, but... What is it? I have something called McGregor's. What is that? Told me I had till the end of the year, if I'm lucky. Why, well, you came back? I just want my daughter to know me. Let's get started. You got some kind of billion dollar man technology that's gonna fix my knee? Actually, Jax, this isn't about fixing your knee. What are you talking about? When the particle accelerator exploded, the energy wave that collided with you is known as dark matter. Saying I'm like one of those metahumans I keep hearing about on the news? Yes. Yeah. I am. Please call me professor. You think you have potential capabilities? What kind of capabilities? Harness excess energy and turn it into these massive nuclear blasts, and you can fly. There's also that. Sorry, you got the wrong guy. I don't want nothing to do with this. Wait a second. We are giving you the chance to be a superhero. You're going to say no that quickly? Yeah, not my kind of thing. I saw your test scores, Jax. Your grades were good enough to get into college, but you didn't go. This is the type of guy you are, one setback and you fold with him. Maybe you're not the guy for us anyway. Well, maybe I'm not. Jack. Maybe this just wasn't meant to be. Have those uh, nucleosome results? Tomorrow. I told you I needed them tonight. I, I know you think you're smarter than everyone here, Hewitt. But I'm sick of you're not doing your job, you're not showing up. You're done here. What? You're gonna take the test away and give it to another lab rat of yours? You're gonna report me to the board? I'd like to see you try! Now get the hell out of my lab! Technologies. Oh my god. Want for questioning is scientist Henry Hewitt. Abilities must have been triggered when we attempted the merger. Th this could be catastrophic. Let me guess. You don't got car troubles. I came to apologize. Sorry for what I said. It's fine. Apology accepted. We could really use your help to save Professor Stein. <laughs> that desperate, huh? Yes. My husband, Ronnie, he used to be Professor Stein's other half. Died saving this city. Wait, he was the guy that flew into the black hole? That was him? He was a hero. I never wanted to be a hero. I believe you were meant to be a hero. Oh, hold on. Oh, my God. I've been looking for you, Dr. Snow. <laughs> Did this to me. But it's not what you promised, is it? Oh. Come on! 42 degrees and rising fast. He's going into rapid oxidation. We need to find a coolant. But I think it's too late for that. I'll merge with him. You said this is a chance for me to be a part of something bigger than myself. To help people. Once you merge, there's no going back on this. You said I could fly, right? Damn right. So what do I do? I think, Jax, this is it. Be back, Jefferson. Thank you. Well, like my coach always said, out of yourself and into the team. Let's see if this works. Jax? <gasps> Is Professor Stein? How will I know? Hello, Jefferson. Now you know. Look, okay, Gray is my co-pilot. Did no oh. one ever inform you of that fringe benefit? When do we get to take this for a test, man? Like Hewitt's recharging at Central City High School's football stadium. Oh, my God! to the field so we can't draw any more energy. I'm on it. Booyaka! Do it! You need to stop. Yeah. This is not who you are. Fine. You chose him over me. I deserve the Firestorm Matrix. Don't do it. Now, calm down, Jefferson. Focus. Like, the more we anger him, the stronger he gets. That's it. Powerful they become, the more unstable they become. Make him angry and he'll blow his view. It's a little game of catch me if you can. <laughs> Let's go for it. Oh my god. Hey, Over here. Ding, da, 
Dr. Hewitt. Oh my God. Give me your best shot. No. Whoa. Is he down? Not bad for your first go at this. Well, I had a great coach to help me do it. All right, Gray. Despite my initial reservations, we make a pretty fantastic team. I like him. I have no idea what this means to me. My dad told me you were sick. Oh, I did some checking. Turns out you're telling the truth. But you were still lying. Still keeping secrets. Like having a son. Iris? He was born eight months after you left Central City. He's a father, Francine. Is it my dad? If he finds out that he might have a son that grew up without knowing him, it would crush him. Leave us alone. Iris. Iris. No, man. Francie, man. Too many lies. I may offer a bit of parting advice. Cisco, I, I know you're scared. This ability you have is a gift. But look at Jefferson. He, he took a leap, and it, it changed his life for the better. The thing that makes you different is what makes you special. Hopefully, well. Now, I believe it's time to uh, take this show on the road or to the sky, if I'm to be literal. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready, Jefferson? That's awesome. That is so sweet. Usually, hidden behind our fears are second chances waiting to be seized, second chances at life, oh. at glory. I love. And these opportunities don't come around every day. Take a chance and grab them while we can. Who wants you dead? Who's that? Oh my god, it's real. Hey, put him down! <laughs> who is that? I don't know who that is. Who's that? Who the hell are you? My God, do you know how awkward that must be for Barry? I mean, obviously that's not the Harrison Well that he knew. This is the Harrison Well probably from the other world that we just saw from, I don't know, was it the first episode or something like that? Or second episode? My God, I was not even expecting that. Who was the shark guy? He obviously came from another world as well because I didn't know who he was. That's super weird. I was like not expecting that when he grabbed uh, the flash. The graphics of the CGI on it looked really, you know, really great. You know, Harrison Wells saving Barry's life. Dude, this is gonna be really awkward. It's, I mean, I know it's not gonna be the same one, so I'm keeping an open mind with this Harrison Wells. It's not the same one. Cause you know, when Eddie killed himself, there was, obviously that's Irabar Thawne that died. Uh, so this is definitely a different hair as well. So this is going to be interesting to see. Barry does like Patty. You can see they like each other a lot. So I like how uh, Joe was telling him to just take a chance. Even though I know Barry's going to be married to Iris. But, you know, he's right. So, you know, you should explore. Explore different options. You may find something better. I just cannot wait to see this next episode. This is going to be interesting. I just, I'm really looking forward to seeing what they're going to say to each other. It's gonna be awesome. Jefferson, I actually like his character a lot. Jefferson's character is awesome. I, it's just, I, I liked him in, even in the beginning when we saw him at the football field, and then when he got affected, and you know, he became the new Firestorm with uh, the professor. And Iris, you know, finding out that she, ha she has a brother, uh, because of her mother keeping that secret from her as well, and her father. The problem is her mother has too many secrets, and it's, it's stressing Iris out. You can definitely see that. I feel like Iris should try to have an open mind, but I get it because she does have the right to be upset with her mother because of what she done, what she has done, be leaving for 20 years. I mean, that is a long time and she's absolutely correct on that. Of course, she's not lying about being sick because of her, you know, drug addictions at the time. Uh, so I feel like Iris needs to keep an open mind, but I get why it's so hard. Other than that, guys, it was a really great episode. I definitely can't wait to get to the next one. Please post your comments down below. Tell me what you think about this episode. Make sure you guys go check out the Patreon page. Get the full reaction on there. And also support the channel as well. Other than that, guys, hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys next Flash.